Turtle here, aka Scott, with a Pokemon team preview. Yeah, team preview video. This is for a new draft league that I am in. It is for the alternate creation. I think I want to let me double check. It's AC, ACDL. Yeah, altered creation. It's Dylan's league. He he made up his only. He's running it. He's uh doing it on Discord, and he's got like bots and shit, and he's got like real cool uh algorithms in his Excel sheet. So pretty cool, pretty cool. Uh, first draft that I am a part of that involves just pure points. No tiers, nothing like that. It's just points. I think we're all given 120 points, and each of the Pokemon range from 1 to 20. So, very interesting. My first one. Interesting enough, it does have um, money prize. The prize is, I think, I don't know how much the prize is, but uh, yeah, money is the prize. So, you know, definitely some, something to motivate my team building and my uh, playing, but shit. It was a difficult draft, a very difficult draft, um, trying to accommodate the points and people sniping. And, you know, there were some noobs who were drafting weird shit. And I mean, come on, guys. Slacking went around first overall pick. Slacking. Yeah, I'm, I'm not, I'm not, miss, you know, I'm not just fucking messing around here. Slacking went number one overall. And then he changed his pick because people pointed it out. But yeah, we got noobs up in here. And uh, some people who never played a draft league in their life, some who barely played competitive uh, battles at all. Some are uh, highly skilled guys who haven't played in a while. And then there's a lot of guys that I'm familiar with, like Jeremy and Donald and Blair and Adam and Dylan and Steven and all those guys. So anyways, without any further ado, let's get into the team that I drafted. <coughs> so as you can see here, I got the whole team at the top. You don't have to worry about, like, oh, what did you pick? You know, so you can look through them at the top. So I'll, I'll, name, I'll name them off starting from the left to the right. So we got the Tapu Lele. We got the Skarmory. We got the Gastro down, the Fidel Gastro. We got the Lonely Muck. We got Cinderace, your boy. We got Tangela. We got Hitmon Lee. We got Armaldo, weird looking dude. Fucking Sid from Ice Age looking motherfucker. We got Licky Licky with the, the Wi Fi signal on his belly. We got the big brain Galarian Darmanitan over here. And then we got we got the Fabio, the Super Saiyan 3 Goku Mega Afros over here. So let me, let's break down the team real quick. So we got the Tapu Lele. So uh, I've never used Tapu Lele before, so I figured, eh, hey, fuck it, let me fuck around with uh, Tapu Lele. It was. Uh, banned from league before so it's it must be really good right well it is pretty good so psychic surge always like i love terrain that's one of the, like my favorite additions to pokemon lately in gen 7 was the terrain you got grassy terrain you got your psychic terrain you got your electric terrain you got your misty terrain you got your booty terrain your misty terrain which is the same thing anyways uh but psychic surge psychic terrain helps with uh it, it blocks priority for those on the ground and it boosts psychic damage so pretty cool pretty cool as you can see on the moves like here it does have calm mind set up it does have the the, the uh, useful taunt so this means that it can beat like a blissey or chancy or any kind of fat wall is trying to wall this thing so it can taunt and stop that and then psychic moon blast uh let's look through the kind of coverage it gets so far so it gets it's got aromatherapy so um that's an option energy ball coverage we've got uh obviously hidden power <coughs> we got a uh, shadow ball that's good and thunderbolt so I don't see anything else on oh, Draining Kiss. I guess that could be useful. I could call mine Draining Kiss set. Uh, Nature's Madness, of course. But yeah, those are the main things. It's got pretty decent coverage. I don't think it has fighting coverage. No Focus Blast. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Focus Blast. Focus Blast is there. Yeah, so we got Focus Blast. So, so great, great coverage. And let's look at these stats. 130 special attack, 115 special defense, and 95 speed. So not bad, not bad. Next up, you got your boy Skarmory. Yeah, Wing Slash, the OG. Fuck Covernight. Fuck that bitch. We got the OG Scorvenac, I mean, Scorv Skarmory up in here. So we got the um, that massive defense over here, base 140 with the 80 attack, the 70, 70 speed, and special defense. I like Skarmory. It's a little too passive, though, sometimes, but you, you got to be smart with it. That's why I like it, because you got to be smart with it. So <coughs> as you guys can see, it's got the spikes. It has a set of uh, hazards, so it can be Stealth Rock and Spikes. Uh, it gets Roar, so that's great. So you get, I can phase out um, setup sweepers or just, like, you know, hazard stack and just start roaring shit out defog so i can get rid of hazards and then set my own and it got the new addition of body press so with that defensive stack it can actually boost up its defense with the uh, iron defense or curse shit like that but yeah let's look through the kind of moves it can get so uh it does get the brave bird the body press counter which could be good curse um defog like i said it's not really a special attacker pursuit that's interesting uh iron head <coughs> um rock slide so it's got decent attacking moves 
no U-turn, unfortunately, but uh, it gets uh, Swords Dance, Taunt, Toxic, Tailwind. So those can come handy. Yeah. Next up, we got your boy Fidel Gastro. So Gastrodon over here with the Water Immunity, Storm Drain. We got that huge HP stat, 111. We got a decent bulk. You know, defense is, you know, to be desired, but <laughs> we work with what we got. So Gastrodon and Skarmory actually do really, really well together. So a great defensive core. Um, very passive, though. So... Maybe next draft, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try not to be so passive. I've been drafting a lot of passive shit lately, but hey, you know, you got to see it. When you see a core, you got to get that core. And uh, so, yeah, so Gastrodon's only weakness is grass. And we got Skarmory for that. We got, um, and then for Skarmory, fire, electric, we got this for that. So we can see with the moves, this does get counter. It does get mirror coat. So I can be really bulky. I can start setting out with curse. I can do stockpile or whatever. I can whatever. And uh, uh, counter, mirror coat, shit like that. Recover, obviously, you need that recover. And then clear smog. So I like being able to get rid of the stat boosting, those uh fucking uh trigger happy, uh just like rampage motherfuckers who are like just trying to set up every chance they get. I get that him with that clear smog. Oops. So let's uh let's look through the uh shit. Let's look through the moves real quick to see what kind of coverage this thing got. So ancient power, it gets a uh, rock coverage, it gets curse. I do like it having curse. Um ground attacks on both physical and special. So as you can look at the stats, it's physical and special attack. Um are both respectable you know 83 attack and 92 special attack you know so it can, it can be mixed it can be either or earth power earthquake and then you got like hydro pump ice beam uh let's see let's see rock slide skull definitely gonna need skull sludge wave could kind of come in handy a little bit sometimes stone edge surf toxic yawn really like yawn that way you can uh, force a switch or something's going to sleep night night and then you got a uh, acid armor acid armor i like that acid armor amnesia what am i realistic if i get the fuck out of here next up i've got I love him up with that HP, that special defense. So my thought process was like, shit, I got Tapu Lele. Alone and Muck is there. Alone and Muck is like the best counter slash check to Tapu Lele anyway. So might as well get that shit off the market. And I needed my dark type anyway. So I like this uh, mon primarily because of Pursuit. One of the few mons that do get Pursuit. And I can trap those pesky ghosts. I can knock it off and then I got the um, priority shadow sneak. And it also gets haze. So as you guys know, I like to get rid of that setup shit. Let's fuck those fools. Anyways, brick break, crunch, curse. So it's curse. I like that. Create curse. Disable explosion. Oh shit. Okay. We got fire coverage. I like that fire coverage for them pesky steel types because I am poison type. And so the steels are gonna want to come in on me. They got fire punch. And then uh it says foul play, but I, I don't think this gets foul play. Um mm -hmm. I don't know. Anyways, gunk shot, knockoff, ice punch. So really good coverage. I like it. Poison jab, power up punch, pain split. So it does have a little bit of recovery. Like I said, Pursuit and his Rock Polish, you know, and, and that attack is respectable. It gets Taunt, Thunder Punch. I like that. Acid Armor as well. And then all these, you know, sometimes I like to go down into these, what is that, usually useless? Yeah, yeah. Because sometimes this, this is where the Fire Tech come from, bro. The Fire Techs. What you know about that, the, the, the Venom Drench, you know? Or that Torment. That Stockpile, bro. What you know about that? Infestation Mean Look? Well, Infestation kind of traps them anyways. Imprisoned. Yeah, I don't know about that. But respectable attack stat, respectable. Um, usually gonna be assault vest. I could be, you know, as, I, I guess, as you can see here with the gluttony ability. What does it say? Stop it. Gluttony. Um, when it reaches half or less, it, it eats certain berries. So it can eat berries a little early. I, can, I think it needs recycle, right? Recycle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So recycle. I can go recycle with this. And uh, I like that option. I like that versatility. You feel me? Next up, we got fucking in the fifth round, we got Cinderace, your boy over here. I've, also never used Cinderace, and I was like, that shit's just right there. Only worth like, oh, I forgot to tell you how many points each of these are worth. So, sorry, y'all. Sorry, let me go back. So, Tapu Lele is worth 18 points. So, really high up there, but not 20. You know what I mean? And then we got Skarmory here with, with the 15. Pretty pretty low for uh, a tier 1, in my opinion. It could be. I guess some people might think it's tier 2. It is passive. And then we got Gastrodon at, at 10 points. That's a steal right there. You know, a lot of the bulky water types were like 10, 11, 12 points. So, that's good. Lowly Muck over here was uh, 12 points. So... And then Cinderace was a uh, 14 points, so I guess it's like a tier two in this league. Um, I disagree. I think it's undervalued. Uh, it's very fast, as you can see. It's got that base 119 speed, that base 116 attack, and it's actually kind of bulky. That 80 HP is not something to laugh at. You got U-turn. Uh, always good to have that U-turn momentum. Court change. I like that move. Um, you know, if they try to set some hazards on me, I can reverse that shit. And sucker punch priority could come in handy. You never know. You never know. And then bulk up option for setup. And let's look at the uh, the coverage. As you, I mean, obviously, as you know, it, it does get fire coverage with Pyro Ball. It, it gets acrobatics, so that could be something. Um, flame charge, always nice to have a speed boost. Ooh, gunk shot. I like that gunk shot is there for the pesky fairies. 
Fuck those fairies. High jump kick is good. Iron head. Ooh, I like iron head over gut shot. I want to get 100% accuracy. I love my 100% accuracy moves, but also with 30% chance to flinch. Hey, hey, if, if, shit, if, if it's going to flinch, it's going to flinch. You know, the hacks guy, sometimes you got to, like, you know, cut a goat's throat to, you know, get that flinch that you need. And then we got uh, quick attack, scorching sands. Not, not going to be special here. Super fang. Very interesting. Taunt and headbutt. So it, it's, I, like, I like its coverage. I like the speed. I like the attack. I like Cinder Top tier fire type. Next up, we got this wrangly, ugly looking thing, Tangela. But hey, don't sleep on Tangela. This thing's worth four points. That's it. Yeah, four. That's all. What the fuck? Uh, some of these shit were like undervalued. But I mean, with that Violet item, look at that defense, bro. 115 for a Violet Pokemon and that base 100 special attack. Come on, that's respectable. Giga Dream. Knockoff synthesis, so it has reliable recovery without the regenerator. I don't even need synthesis though because of the regenerator. But shit, if I don't feel like it, I could be synthesis too. Sleep powder, so we always put something to sleep. Too bad it doesn't have spore. But then knockoff is key. The Giga Drain is key. And it's got rock coverage. It's got well, energy ball for stronger shit. It's got leech seed. It's got uh whatever what it was. Swords and I guess, but toxic. But yeah, yeah, all this stuff. You know, like let's look at the the, the fire text down here. And nothing really down here. Yeah, ain't nothing. I don't know. Maybe growth with fucking chlorophyll. Imagine this as a fucking sweeper. Space 60. That'd be crazy. Anyways, so I got this guy. Grass type. Really bulky. I like it. Knockoff option. So it's good. Next up, I was like, I need a fighting type. I want to abuse this terrain. Him only. Boom. Gives me a spinner as well. This just checked all the boxes I needed at that time. And I was one of the my uh, highly desired pokemon you could say this thing is only worth nine points so uh you know i want to say a steal it's good I, w I wish it was maybe eight points seven i don't know but nine i guess it's fine i mean it's a sweeper it's got unburdened as you can see it's got bulk up setup close combat really strong knockoff it's always a good move to have a knockoff especially for fighting types you need to hit those psychic types and then rapid spin you know that's very utility wise and um you know also has other reliable i mean not reliable viable abilities over here with reckless and limber that could be choice scarf, reckless, high jump kick, you know, shit like that. Get blaze kick, <clears throat> bullet punch priority, earthquake coverage, mock punch priority, poison jab for those fairies, pursuit for those ghosts, stone edge, sucker punch priority, throat chop, you know, things like that. And with the unburden, psychic C, I can get the unburden off, I can set up, I can just like start wrecking shit. I mean, look at that attack 120 is that's that's nice. That special defense though, woo, that speed though. It's an interesting speed tier though, because it's not like you know. Uh, a divisible by five so it's not like 85 or 90 whatever it's above 85 but below 90 so that gives me some i like i like um speed tiers like that because it gives me some wiggle room to sometimes i can be adamant and sometimes i can like put a lot of more a lot more bulk and stuff like that but anyways next up we got the lowest point pokemon on my team number three points our model what the fuck is this doing at three points this thing is a steal man like it barely is a tier five in my books but this thing gets both stealth rocks and rapid spin in my books that that that, that makes you like automatically good but this got priority aqua jack it gets knock off too anything with knock off that's like key battle armor it gets swift swim it can sweep it gets swords dance like come on this thing is good good let's look at the coverage he's got so iron tail earthquake knock off liquidation low kick rapid spin rock blast rock slide stone edge super power swords dance x scissor like and look at that attack 125 in the hp 75 and defense 100 and special defense 80 the thing is bulky as fuck well, not as fuck, but bulkier than you think. It can take a hit. It, it can attack back really strong. And it can set up. It's got rapid spin. It's got knockoff. It's got priority. It's got good stab. This is just a, a really, really good underrated Pokemon here. I'm really looking forward to using this. And uh, yeah, don't sleep on our model. Next up. At this point in the draft, I was starting to like get my team well-rounded. I was like, I know what I want. I know what I like. The points I have left, I know what I need. And I was like, you know what I need? <clears throat> I need like reliable cleric. I seen this bad boy there. I was like, Phew. I really like this fatty, but I never, I never drafted this thing before. Licky licky. Um, it seems really, really passive for me, but those stats are, you know, pretty good. A lot of HP right there, you know, respectable both in attack and special attack and high defensive stats. So, um, it's a great wish passer because it has a lot of HP. It's he it gets heal bell, gets counter, knockoff. Like I said, man, if I had, if I'm not a broken record already. And knock off you need knock off get rid of those items get rid of the choice scarf get rid of the like that life orb that'll do extra damage give get rid of those leftover recovery so they can't fucking just keep recovering on your bitch ass get rid of those heavy duty boots so they can come in and take rocks damage like get those fucking items off and we got licky licky here though so 
its, it's abilities ain't that good though on tempo so can't be confused oblivious so can't be taunted i guess that's good probably the best one both immune to intimidate but not that it matters and cloud nine which i'm not sure but okay let's look at the coverage guy he has actually really good coverage moves so i'll give it that it can be offensive so don't be surprised if some heat week i decide to bring offensive licky licky don't be surprised i'm calling it now so we got that aqua tail we got the blizzard we got the body press body slam brick break counter fucking uh curse setup can't make this shit up guys curse dragon tail it can phase shit earthquake explosion that's gonna be strong as fuck facade fire coverage on both ends fighting coverage with focus blast we got the gyro we got the hammer arm we got the hydro pump this thing is hydro pump this ice beam bro iron tail knock up power up punch power whip damn bro that grass rock slide shadow ball steel roller like come on surf thunder swords dance zen headbutt toxic wish like all this shit guys oh, what, what what kind of coverage does it not have what bug probably doesn't have bug everything else though let's see if we can get some fire shit down here we got the belly drum bro go ahead check out my belly drum sweep in the link in the description down below guys belly drum yeah yeah it's a little late in the in the in the evening the late at night so you know a little loopy oh what the hell i'm working offline yeah been drinking a little bit so you know a little loosened up but she if you made it this far into the freaking video you know comment comment um i don't know so i fucking what's the secret word secret word of the day is uh so we're doing points what the fuck is i got lele here so alola just say alola i guess i got some alola shit i don't know you know alola muck over here type of lele i don't know but so yeah doubt anybody's fucking listening at this point Anyways, let's look at this fire shit down here. So, uh, nothing, 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 no. Nope, 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 nope. Work up. I guess work up's fire. I could be work, wish, work up. Anyways, and then I had, an, at this point, everybody had already, like, started wasting all the points. They were getting the low point Pokemon. Like, oh, oh yeah. Licky Licky was, uh, eight points. And, uh, yeah, anyways, back to what I was saying. So everybody's already spending their points. They got, like, not, nothing left except for fucking Punk Turtle. I don't know what the fuck he's thinking. Drafting, like, slacking and shit. Yeah, drafting all them turtles. And freaking, what, what was it? Uh, Torterra. Fucking Mega Blastoise. Uh, fucking Tor Tortinator. Like, he, he drafted, like, 90% of the turtles of all Pokemon. And he had, like, 29 stuff fucking points afterwards. But I don't know. I don't know what he's going to do with it later. But, um... I did draft Galarian Dermatitan here. I wanted to draft in something high that was left over. And this this was pretty much all that was left. Um, I do have a disclaimer. Well, I'll get to it after the video. After the um no, after the team. So we got uh Derm Galarian Dermatitan here, you know, uh with a U-turn, Ice School Crash, Flare Blitz, Superpower. It does one thing and one thing good. It just fucking wrecks holes, guys. U-turn gets the fuck out of there. I can be choice band, choice scarf, that base 140 attack and the gorilla tactics. Ice School Crash, I don't like it that much because it can miss. I don't like moves that can miss, guys. I don't like losing because I'm like, oh, shit, this is going... I win if I click this, but then it misses, and then I lose. I don't like that. Who likes that? Who wants to Who wants to bet, like, their games on shit like that? Anyways, you turn Ice It does get Ice Punch. I probably will prefer Ice Punch over it, but Flare Blitz, Superpower. It actually is a pretty viable Zen, Zen Mode user. So maybe some weeks when I, I might need to use that, but... Yeah, yeah, that's pretty much it. You know, I guess it gets Iron Head, Lash Out, shit like that, Zen Head, but... but yeah, I'm not going to really talk about this one that much because later on, I'll tell you why. Anyways, last but not least, I needed my electric type. I needed a dragon type. I was like, I got it. I got it. Oh, yeah. Galarian Dermatitan, 18 points. I had nine points left. Mega Ampharos for nine points. Not bad. Not bad. Mold Breakers. So I can get rid of those fucking Volt Absorbers or shit like that. Um, Park Dragon. Really bulky, as you can see. In base 90 HP, 105 defense, 110 special defense. So it's going to take a hit. It's going to live. It can even probably learn live like an Earthquake from a fucking Kunk Elder. Uh, maybe even an Earthquake from a Dawn fan. Let's put it that way. Yeah, Earthquake from a Dawn fan. I think it can live. I think. At full. With, like, HP investment. Mm. Anyways, but as you can see here, it gets, it gets uh, set up with Cotton Guard and Agility. So, Agility, you know, with that base 45 speed, ain't... Mm, I don't know, but... Shit, if I make this max speed with Agility, it can outspeed some shit that maybe my opponent don't think it should be outspeeding. It gets Focus Blast coverage, Dragon Post, and obviously, like, Thunder moves and shit, but... Let's look into this a little bit more. It gets counter. Counter? All right. I can dig it. I can dig it. And as you can see down over here, base 95 attack ain't something to laugh at. But shit, with that big one, 165 special attack, why the fuck would I not utilize the fuck out of that stat? You feel me? I got Discharge here. Dragon Pulse. Fire Punch. I guess we go physical. Uh, Focus Blast. Heal Bell. Iron Tail. Power Gem. I like that. I like that. Signal Beam. Coming. So Thunder, Thunderbolt. 
Boat switch, toxic, shit like that. Uh, let's look at the heat shit down here. So we got charge beam, charge beam. I like that. Charge beam. Um, um, electric terrain. I can get that shit up. What else is down here? Ion deload, deluge. When the normal moves become electric type this turn. What the fuck? I guess it's like for doubles. Magnetic flux raises defense, special defense of allies with plus and minus. Huh. Yeah, doubles. Magnet rise. Hey, magnet rise. Shit, that's respected. What else down here? Zap cannon. I ain't doing that bullshit. Anyways, and that's the team, guys. Tapulele, Skarmory, uh, Tapulele, Skarmory, Gastrodon, Alona Muck, Cinderace, Tangela, Him Only, Armaldo, Licky Licky. And the last thing I wanted to tell you is that I actually already, before the season started, dropped Galarian Diamond 10 4, Necrozma. Because it's the same amount of points, but it gets expanding force, guys. So I'm going to be utilizing my psychic train a little bit better. It gets autonomized setup. It gets like fucking dark pulse. It gets dragon dance. It gets calm mine. It gets earthquake, heat wave. That's key. And look at those stats: ninety-five HP, one hundred seven attack, one twenty-seven special attack, one hundred one defense, eighty-nine special defense, seventy-nine speed. So really, really bulky. That prism armor uh, only receives three force damage from super effective hits. So it's not gonna be doing that much. And let's, let's finish the rest of the coverage. So earth power. So it's got ground on both sides. Flash cannon uh iron head and knockoff <laughs> you need knockoff right it actually gets stealth rock too so moonlight and morning sun so it's got recovery full ton geyser definitely gonna need that um physical if the user's attack is greater than special attack so it could be a physical attack power gem psychic fang cycle cut rock blast rock polish same thing as autonomized basically rock slide you know i think that's like i said stealth rock stored power shit swords dance thunder wave and toxic and trick room Let's see this fire stuff down here. So, charge beam. That's a little bit fire. Cosmic power. That's some heat right there. Cosmic power. Store power. Bruh. Future sight. I like future sight. Forces thing to switch into like steel and dark type. So I can go future sight into him only or something. I don't know. Mirror shot. What's that? Meteor beam. I like meteor beam. I don't know. Prismatic laser. User can't move next turn. It's like a fucking psychic hyper beam. Smart strike. Nah, fuck that. All right, so that's that's my replacement, guys. So I got Necrozma now, but I do have to um, use Galarian Darmanitan for the first two weeks. So, but after that, I've got Necrozma. So, anyways, guys, you've seen the team. You already know what to do. Smash the fuck out of that like button. Comment down below who you think is gonna be the MVP. Let's see, we got Lele. I, I think Lele. I, I kind of built my team around Lele. Um, but what about those sleepers? Who you think of, is it? Armaldo, the angry Armaldo. Is it Cinderace, the sleeper Pokemon? Or is it Fidel Gastro? You think Fidel Gastro is going to pull his weight? Or what about this fight? Majin Buu, Necrozma. Necrozma could be, could, like, I, I have some nightmares facing Necrozma. This thing is a threat. Or is it fucking Fabio over here? You tell me. Comment down below. And subscribe if you're not already subscribed. What the fuck are you doing here if you're not already subscribed? And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.